The Democratic Alliance has refused to remove the advertisement that features Mandela's voice. The party says Mandela is a national icon. Members of the Mandela family earlier called on the Independent Electoral Commission to take action against the DA. The family says that the use of the voice is a gross violation of the electoral code. The DA has responded by saying that Mandela's grandson, Mandela Mandela, to challenge the advert at the IEC. day today, the fact that uh, Mandela Mandela feels that using his grandfather's name is a gross violation of the Electoral co Commission. If you, if you think about the fact that Nelson Mandela was said to South Africans, he's the president for all South Africans, not one political party, not anybody. He's not even just a national icon, but an international icon. And therefore, he's a public figure. So a public figure, especially a president, is somebody who has actually said, I serve the people of South Africa. He had ideals that he fought for, and he said, I want a united South Africa, I want a non-racial South Africa, and I want to see a South Africa that is working. And if you look at the advert that we have put out there, which we're not going to take down, we, we respect Mandela Mandela to go to the IEC, but we will continue to fly the advert. In fact, it goes up tonight publicly. It's already in social media. We are saying this is an advert depicting an individual voter's thoughts as they're about to go and vote and how Nelson Mandela's words reminded them of how to do what is right for South Africa. Maldama Royal Family Spokesman Chief Mpundo Bovelungwana Mdikhaka joins us on the phone line. Chief, good afternoon to you and thank you for your time on a and uh, Good day and good day to the viewers. Uh, Dada, can you tell us what's your view on uh, the controversy surrounding the use of Dadu Madiba's uh, voice in the election campaign? Uh, firstly, Madiba is belonging to the world, is belonging to South Africa, but is belonging to a family. Uh, Madiba is a man of, 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 of Mandela family. We respect what the people are saying about him. But uh, again, Matiba grew up within the family. And then he was groomed, and then he go to school. And then he was groomed by the African National Congress. Uh, and then he became the president of South Africa. So, so I don't think it is good for, for, for DA, because DA is a party. And Matiba was never a member of a democratic alliance. So they cannot use Madiba for their campaign. Unless it was government or, 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 or an NGO that is using Madiba to campaign for, for something that is going to, going to benefit the whole South Africa. The DA is doing that for them to benefit as a party, which Mandela was not a member of. Hmm. Uh, Dan, Dan uh, freedom fighters and anti-apartheid heroes, do they belong to a particular party or do they represent universal ideals Ideas, and uh, they cannot be bound by party politics? So how do we discern between the two? I, I, agree, with, I, I, I agree with you. That's why I'm saying, that's why I'm saying as much... He belonged to the ANC, but he was the president of South Africa. But at the moment, the DA is doing that for its campaign, for the benefit of Democratic Alliance, so that the people can vote for DA. And then I'm saying Madiba was never a member of DA, and his ideology was never the same with Democratic Alliance ideology. Mm. Do you think that the Democratic Alliance is attempting to adopt uh, ideals of Dadu Madi, Dadu Mandela, or, is it, or are they trying to appropriate uh, a legend for its, its political ends? Yes, that's what they're doing. Mm. They're not trying, that's what they are doing. Mm. That's why I'm supporting Zuenzeli when he says no about his grandfather. Siabulela Tata, that's Chief Mvundo of uh, the Mdihaha, the Madiba family.